loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique and we talk about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle here. Today we're going to do something that I have never done before and that is talk about all my empty beauty products. I feel like finishing a beauty product is like such an accomplishment. They just never seem to go away. I feel like I'm always saying, oh, I'll just finish up these few products and then I'll try something else. How come products just like last forever, which is great, but also when you finish it, you're like, yes. So for some reason, I have finished a bunch of products at one time so I have a box here and I'm gonna go over what I liked about them if I'm gonna repurchase them or if I've already purchased them so without further ado let's jump right into all of my beauty empties so many goodies to choose from so we are going to start with one of my favorite products I have been talking about this for years on my channel this is the infinity Sun glow on the go I've been a huge fan of this product ever since I tried it about five or six years ago when I used to work at the tanning salon so this is just spray tan solution in a bottle and I use it to spray my face since I don't tan my face I wear sunscreen every day so this is my little secret to keeping my face tan and I have finally finally used the whole bottle which is like a miracle I think I've literally had this for like four years and I'm so glad I checked because I would have been so sad to be like fully out of this so time to order a new one on Amazon Prime now next up is this empty bottle of toner by Rodale this is the dragon's blood hyaluronic tonic and I was obsessed with this when I was using it. It is great for sensitive skin. It instantly brightens your skin, which was really nice. So this is something that I will be repurchasing. And I'm also very interested in other products they offer. They have such a wide range of amazing products. So I'm going to be looking into that as well as reordering this toner. When you finish a lotion bottle, it is the most satisfying feeling because you're just like, Yes, I got it. I have been using Jergen since I was a kid and it's just something that's always in the house. I did like the shea butter, but I personally like the original scent better. It just kind of reminds me of like home. So instead of the shea butter, I will be getting the original scent, but Jergen's is just a great lotion to have in the house. More lotion because empty. I finally finished this primer by Dr. Brandt. It is the Pour No More Pore Refining Primer. This is a matte primer. I did really enjoy this one. And the only thing that I learned is I couldn't put it on when I felt like I was having a really dry skin day. It was a little bit too matte for me on some days, but I really did like the finish that it gave and it really did actually like refine my pores. Like, they kind of went away, which was amazing. So this is something that I would purchase again. I just would use it not as often, only on days that I feel like my skin is really dewy and can handle the matte finish. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy it. It was a good matte primer without being too crazy. It did give more of like a silky finish. Something that is absolutely a necessity in my makeup bag is the Beauty Blender Cleanser in the solid form. It's easy to travel with. It's actually just like a bar of soap. So you can just like roll your Beauty Blender in there so it makes it super simple to keep it clean it's perfect for travel and it's something I cannot live without I've already repurchased this I think I actually bought like three because I'm like I cannot live without it it's just too simple and too easy so already have this one and then the next empty product is my Lancome dual finish powder you guys know I'm obsessed with this powder it is just my go-to so I need to go get another one because this is unacceptable there's way too much pan here. <laughs> I already have a backup of this product, so I am so happy about it. This is the PCA Clear Skin Daily Moisturizer, which is basically like a acne cure in a jar. Now again, everybody's skin is different, but this did work for me and I've known many other people that really like this product. But basically it's just a daily moisturizer with like active ingredients that do help cure and soothe your acne problems. So I really did enjoy this. The only thing is it is a little bit dry for me like I like a little bit more moisture so I first would apply this and then another moisturizer on top but if you are struggling with acne this is a great product to look into it really helped me so maybe it can help you as well next up we have some concealers first we have the NARS radiant creamy concealer I feel like I need to try this one again I definitely emptied this thing but I feel like maybe I just had the wrong color or I wasn't prepping my skin right I feel like everybody was raving about it and this was a product that I was like I like it but do I love it I'm not sure but I want to give this another try because so many people rave about it so I am going to go try it again. I'm going to get it in a different color. This is the color I'm custard. So I feel like I need just one shade lighter or maybe two shades to mix because I did like the finish, but the color just maybe wasn't perfect. So I will keep you updated on this one. And I love NARS products. So 
Let's see if I try the right color, if I end up liking it even more. And then the next concealer is one of my go-tos. This is absolutely one of my favorites, and it was so random. It's the Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer. I randomly was at my mom's house, and I was like, hey mom, I need a concealer. Do you have something? And I went into her drawer, and I tried this on, and I was like, oh my gosh, mom? What is this? I need it. I just put it in my makeup bag and like left. I really didn't mean to, but she called me. She's like, hey, do you have my concealer? And I was like, ooh, yeah, about that. I'm now back in LA and you're in Utah, so uh, sorry. Since then, it is now a staple in my makeup bag. It is really creamy. It has a really hydrating feeling to it, so it really works for my skin. Already went and purchased another one because I've been scraping the sides of this one for like the last month. Like there is no more concealer in here. So anybody out there who uses Rosebud knows that it is so hard to finish a tin, right? There is so much gratification when you finish a tin. You're just like, yes, I did it. Well, I didn't just finish this tin. I also finished this too. So I have finished two containers of Rosebud at the same time. That's like so impressive. I absolutely love Rosebud. I keep them in the car, I keep them in my purse, I keep them on my bedstand, in the kitchen. They're just something I keep all over the house. You better believe I have a stock of them ready to go. I did not go without, I already had backups. The good old trusty NARS bronzer in the color Laguna. Oh my gosh, it literally just fell out. I hit pan like a long, long time ago and there was just another sliver like right down here and it is currently sitting in my box of goodies. The mirror is broken. This little compact is a complete mess. It is done, donezo. I need another one. Literally just fell out of my lap, perfect. Next up, we have some Hum Hair Vitamins. I'm not gonna lie, having gummy vitamins around the house just makes me eat them all the time. The recommended serving size is two gummies a day and there is a 30-day supply in here. Swear to God, this only lasted me like maybe, maybe 10 days. I just eat them like candy, which is, I don't think that great for you, <laughs> um, but I really do like these. They are just a fun alternative to taking vitamins, so I will get them again, but maybe I should definitely like keep them under lock and key and not eat them like gummy bears. Moving into some hair products. This is the Keratase or Keratis, however you wanna say it or however you do say it. So this is the resistance formula and I feel like whenever I use their products, my hair feels like I'm at a salon and it just does what it's supposed to do. So I feel like their products are really good. Now it is on the pricier side on more of like the high end of hair products. I do feel like it's worth it or at least worth mixing in. It smells so good and I will get another one with in time, but I have some other hair products to use up right now. See, see, there'll be more empties coming. Another skincare product that I have recently just ran out of and am so sad. I will definitely, definitely need more. So this is the PCA Skin Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum, and this is magic in a bottle. There is something about this serum that is so amazing. It is one of the best hyaluronic acid serums that I have ever used. This is actually what they recommended to use when we got our chemical peels, and I am not kidding you. When I applied this to my face, it was like instant relief, instant hydration, and it literally felt like it just helped my skin like plump up and feel more dewy and hydrated. So I have such dry skin. I feel like this is a necessity in my skincare routine. So the fact that this is empty makes me really sad. I need it ASAP. Ah, I'm almost there. I have like a few more little, little spritz in here. <laughs> Finishing a perfume bottle. Now that takes some time. This is the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Perfume. I normally gravitate to more of like a musky fragrance, but I had been wanting more of like a sweeter, lighter, more floral scent. I was at Nordstrom and I saw this little guy and since I travel so much, I like that they had the smaller size. So I grabbed it and I have been loving it. Whenever I wear it, I feel so girly and light and fresh. I really did enjoy this scent, but I also want to try other scents by Jo Malone because they have so many amazing ones. The last beauty product empties. This is the Brigio Blossom and Bloom Volumizing Shampoo. This is actually the first products that I have ever tried from this brand. And what I really have been liking about this brand is that it is clean. There's no sulfates, silicones, or parabens, which is amazing, especially since I have dry and bleached hair. It's really nice to have products that are clean and 
good for your hair and I know so many people that use this and rave about it the only thing is I probably won't get the volumizing line again because as you can see I have no problem getting volume in my hair I have a hard time with moisture so my next purchase would be the don't despair repair super moisturizing shampoo I already looked it up because I wanted to see what else they offered and that will be my next purchase because I need moisture in my hair but Brigio is great I really like their formulas and I like that they're clean well there you have it guys those are all of my current empty beauty products I feel like it is such an accomplishment to finish a product so the fact I had all these products at once to share with you guys like I'm impressed with myself right now but <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that way I know also if you guys have finished any beauty products recently go ahead and share it down in the comments so that way I can hear what you guys finished and if you like it and if you're gonna rebuy it just let me know we can start that conversation down there but that is it I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always I will see you guys in the next one bye